Alright guys, so we're back here. This is our Dead Island uh, Riptide playthrough. Uh, we're back in the uh, sort of the starting, I guess, little village area here. Let's, I'm going to just go and check on the map, show you guys. I know you guys know where we are, but hey, just for anybody who's just joining us now. This is the little village. Let me see. Okay, there we go. That's where we started. Village. We're going to go down this road and uh, basically, like, there's two missions that we were working on. Uh, we wanted to get the gas can for the guy that's here, I think Pierre. Uh, and we're probably, if we're going to go and do that, we probably need to go and pick it up again uh, since we've logged out since the last time. Uh, and then we also have this mission up here to go and find two electrical cables. That's after going and doing finding all of the batteries of this camp here. So what Misty and I are going to do, uh, we're going to ignore the gas can mission for now. We'll come back and do that sort of, probably one of the last things that we do before we like continue on with the main mission. Uh, so that we can get ourselves some epic weapons before we turn, keep going. But uh, basically we're going to go down this side road here. You can see this little path going up. We're going to go up and sort of explore up towards this mission. But we're going to actually try and clear out some of the stuff at the top of the map here and then end up at this mission so that we can save it again. So that's our basic plan for where we're going to go uh, with this episode. So we'll start it off here. We're both in the village. Um, let's go up here and talk to this lady. Now, she's got some weapons here. I don't know if you have the same weapon list as I do, like if you buy something it's going to disappear from my list or not, but you know what I mean? We've got a little bit of money, you know? There's some weapons in there that could be interesting. I'm also going to sell off some of this other stuff. Uh, I'm going to... I want to save it because I want to make stuff with it, but a lot of this stuff... Eh, I'll see if I can find a better version of it to make something with, because... Totally. You know, if it's white versions of weapons, I want cooler stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these blunt weapons. I could save the, the axe, but it doesn't look like it's... Well, level 25. Okay, I'll hold on to that. Get rid of the morning star. Okay. That also gave me a little bit more money. I'm gonna buy this purple weapon that's gonna open in one more level. And sell the machete that I have, because I'm not gonna need it once I have that one. So let's just sell that one for now. And I'll probably like try to upgrade those weapons as soon as I can. Here I'm just going to grab these nails in case we need them later. Same with the alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol is always good because you can turn it into Molotov cocktails once you find the right person. We'll do that for you. Okay. Maybe there's so we're, we've like essentially emptied out so that we can collect some more materials. I'm just going to run over here as well. I think we already did. Yeah, we're all repaired up. I could upgrade. I wonder if I can upgrade this without... Let's see. Let me Yay! Can you? I can upgrade this weapon that I just bought without having... being able to equip it yet. Okay. So it's now a level 4 machete, and it's going to do some nice damage once I've got that. I'm going to do that as well. You know? Because that'll be nice. It like, looks like it's going to do some really nice damage, so... Especially if we put a mod on it or something. And we get one that we can use. I'll just make sure that I have my weapons equipped here. So I'm gonna put the. Alright, oh, I can't put that in. So. Or that. I've got those three in. Okay, I'm gonna go and put my Savage Nail Gun away. Even though. It's sort of like the, your infinite ammo gun as long as you recollect the bullets. Uh, that's why I want to save it. Save it till I find some more ammo for it, because I 
lost a couple of the bullets for it, and that'll just be sort of like a special luck, and maybe I'll use it later in the game for some fun or something. So, that in. And you're emptying out all of your modification materials too, right? Yeah, actually, like, let's do that. Because, like, that's going to allow us to pick up some more stuff too, so. Let's go down here. Okay. Okay, so you can see Henry Storage, he has 69 out of 150 items that I can store. Eventually we'll probably have to empty out some of our crafting materials, but we're going to need them for crafting anyways, so... We may as well have a nice stash of them for when we need them. So under our quests... Under our quests... We're sort of doing... Electrifying and fire sale at the same time? We're going to start with electrifying. Fire sale, we'll just leave that for now. Because we'll, basically it'll be like when we... I think if we explored the rest of the map, we'll, that'll be one of the ones we do like at the end. Or whenever we find the marina. Sure. And we can drive to it in the next episode after doing that. Okay, so let's go back out. I'm going to go up there side here. Yay, it's raining. Perfect zombie killing weather. Whee! Nice. Yep. Gotta have a little fun. Come on. Alright, so let's see what's going on over here. You know those ones with the head sound nice. No, no. You might not want to get too close to them. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just hop in the car. Oh, you're driving. Oh, yeah. Boom. Only... I know what side the driver's seat is on. <laughs> clean up this island. <laughs> and that was the camp that we just passed. That's right. Alright. Uh, I think I lost power in the car. Oh, watch it. Move passenger seats. Okay. No, it's all good. I awesome powered the car into the corner here. I was getting no out. That's going yeah. Okay, so just to show you guys quickly here also, on the map, we're now at the bottom of that little path, and we're going to start going up to explore towards this. Although we're not going to get there right away. Always check your zombies. Make sure they're dead. Oh, 
they're just human bodies, but like you won't be able to actually kick them. You can kick just the bodies. It doesn't give me like an animation or like sound effect or anything when I do it. Really? So. Mine yeah. moves when I kick them. Yeah. This here is called a dead zone. Uh, we've already done one of these. It was uh, this area here on the map, I believe. Let me see. Oh, wait. Versus, okay, no, this was the dead zone. This building here, because it's next to where the guy with the gas came. So my guess is that, like, this was the entrance to that one. This one doesn't seem to have an entrance yet, but if you look at the door here, sort of barricaded, that'll probably open up at some point and we'll be able to go in there. So this is probably content for later in the game. But we'll keep heading up to that. Oh, it's some infected. Hey, bro. I like it when they charge at you and, like, don't even try to use their arms. It's just, like, it's all mouth and face. Right. Oh, there's a big fat one down here. What did you call me? <laughs> uh, I'll be fat. Oh, God. I'm not too bad. Come on. <laughs> right. Are you just going to shoot him? Yeah. I don't like how he's looking at me. I'm gonna start like barking up snot at us in a second if we're you know? Sexy. Ah, see, here's the floater. I thought there was an enemy called the floater. Yep. You know? Okay, just. Also, other things that you can do to take out these guys if you don't have... Yeah, see, that's what you want to watch out for. If you don't have a gun or whatever, basically, like, this is why you want to play with friends. Because he is weak in the back. You know? So, whichever one he's concentrating on just wants to sort of dodge his attacks while the other one takes care of them. And, like... If you really wanted to, you could probably run in with like a... Oh gosh. We'll just, we'll just do one of those. Yep. You know? Do you want a slaughtering homemade machete? Who wouldn't? Slaughtering. Just use a little help there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a party. Oh. Yep. Yeah. How we roll. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. Hi. Boom. Alright. We've got another awesome dude here. This guy is a thug. He's nothing to mess around with, so. There you go. <coughs> Always stand back when throwing a Molotov. I should take care of like most of his like you know. At least it works down. Oop, there we go. Just a flash room. Come on. <laughs> How about me? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're a loony. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. 
<laughs> Boom. Okay, so we have the proverbial fork in the road. There's a lot of different paths we could choose here. Let's look at our map. I'm gonna heal up because I'm hurting. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so since Misty and I know that this is going to basically do a checkpoint when we get there and we want to do some more with our time while we have it to do this, let's, like, and plus we're close by, so what we're going to do is we're going to sort of branch out this side path here. Are we going we're to gonna the go, left, or? Let's go to the left and up through the water. Okay. To, you see that building that's sort of just sticking down? The one that has the workbench and the Santa Maria? You talking about the uh, above? It's just sticking down from the bottom of the blacked out area. Okay, the little dotted path. A little, yeah. Like we'll go up one of those sides. Well, okay. Let's let's go up through the water <clears throat> and we'll go and explore around that area. So I think what we want is let's go this. Let me just check the map again. Make sure I'm there. yeah. This is the right path. So we will be going back that way eventually. We just want to... The thing I know about this game is that there are certain side quests that are only available to you uh, during certain portions of the mission. So, like, this, for instance, if we were to go and continue with the main storyline quest, we might miss a whole lot of stuff that's out here in the world, uh, such as, like, civilians or people that need to be rescued that will give us some cash or money or may even help us out in some way. So, and as, well, I'm sure there are trophies for, like, rescuing, like, all the survivors in the game, and, and the only way to do that is to basically go out and physically look for them. You know? Make sure you aren't missing any during any of the chapters. That's So we're going to head up this path, I'll show you, heading up in this direction, we'll sort of go, ah, uh, sorry, up along this way and up around this area. There's some stuff that we know that's up here that we can do, as well as probably some loot. Oh, see, look, there's somebody in the distance who looks like they're still Oh, there we go. You see this person here, they're waving. Yep. Totally. Megan. Do you know? I wonder if it's like a family guy reference. Probably not, but that would be fire. Is she wearing like a hat or something? Nah. Yeah. Do they? Nope. Okay. Do you want to go up and talk to her? Sure. Okay. I will guard us against further zombie attacks. Take anything you want. Anything. I must go to my children. I must be terrified. I like that. Her children are safer, some are safer than she is, but she's not with them. You know? We're not, yeah. are we, <clears throat> we're not climbing up That's and going across yet. If, well, if you want to, I was just going to explore... Loot the campsite? The campsite here, you know? Oh, That's there's an island guide here on the floor. For sure. And that's, that's another reason that you want to be out here exploring these areas, because you may go ahead a chapter and then not be able to actually get back to get stuff like that. So that's why it's really important. Bandages, that supplies, that will be... Well, you can use that, I think, to heal yourself. If you get, like, uh, broken bones. I don't, I don't remember if that's part of this game. If you can, like, actually sustain, like, injuries like that. Let's just see what this is. <coughs> Ooh. It's nothing. <laughs> Sweet. It looks like it should be something though. You know? It's all glowy and sparkling. 
you know. Oh, here, look, there's a. Ah, it's just a weak wrench. Yeah. And we'll, or a weapon boss. Let's see what's here. Okay. Alright, so we do you want to go up along the thing? I don't think there's really anything up there to explore, but maybe there's some loot we can grab. We can take a look, I guess. Yeah. I thought she was in a hurry to get out of here to check on her kids. You know? Somebody needs to call a defect. She's like, oh, right. She's not being a good person. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you know? She was like, I was just saying that so you guys would leave. You know? Exactly. Ah. You want to pick up some of these Molotov? Sure. That's good. Molotov cocktails will be good luck. definitely useful. It's sort of like your grenade at this area in the game. It's going to work. Take out a large group of enemies or do some damage to a bigger one. Okay, so there's some zombies down there. Yes. We're sort of, like, going over... I guess this would be, like, the camping area. It's not quite as, like, nice as, like, the, the areas, I guess, that have the bungalows back there or whatever, but it's kind of reminiscent of the first game where you had, like, a hotel. And it's, like, this is, I guess, camping instead of the hotel. So... Anything good? Nah. Uh -huh. All right. I'm gonna head down. You wanna be careful if there's zombies below you on areas like this, guys. You don't wanna jump, fall, or whatever and break your legs either, but I guess Misty's a brave. <laughs> well, I didn't jump from the Braver top platform, I, I just jumped off the second platform. Hey. So we're gonna go get up this little area here, zombies. I like how, okay, they can run in the water, but can we run? Sometimes. We can run in shallow water, but. There we go. Apparently, we can only run sometimes in shallow water. Boom. There we go. But I do, I think I remember something from the prologue where we were able to run in the water. But it's like, why is there, why is that not, you know what I mean? The same throughout the game. You know? Well, when we first started walking in the water a minute ago, I was running behind you. Okay. I think it's like the deeper the water. For sure. I have, I, it gave me a skill point. To spend, so I'm gonna go and look here real quick. Okay. Definitely buying second level of lockpicking. Because we're gonna definitely start running into higher level lockpick boxes, and since level 3 is the highest, we may as well get there as soon as possible. Okay, so. Are you killing stuff in the water? Maybe. Mm. Let's go over this way a little. We've got a couple of guys here that are going to rush in at some point. Oh, maybe they're not being infected. Just regular death. Wait! What? Oh. Put the floating body in, I guess. Just to keep us on our toes. Are we going to get the ones over to our left, or are we going to... Yeah, I'm going to check the map here real quick and just see... Sort of where... Yeah, let's go in this little zone. See, this area isn't even marked on the map itself, so definitely something that we want to check out. There's probably going to be a mission that's going to send us here at some point, but there's probably some loot here for us, too. 
I don't even know if we scored this the last time we were around here. There's some fruit. Definitely, yeah. I'm like you, a little bit low. Yeah, back there on the rock. Nice. And then the. Uh, okay, there's vines over here. I wonder where that goes. Even, you know? Hmm. Can't hurt to look. Here. Oh, it's interesting when they put areas of, like this into the uh, like, what do you do? I feel like there's some sort of ritual thing that's supposed to go on here. You know? Let's explore this little side path because we'll be able to come back up around this area. Like, the map makes this stuff look a lot bigger than it really is. So let's go Because if it's not marked, obviously something special. Okay, so it's just, it's going to connect up with a side path, but we'll be able to join back up with the, where we were. Okay. I love when they make... Or I think maybe that was you. It sort of like made like a sighing sound after we'd finished the battle. And that's like... That was enough to freak me out a little bit. Again, <laughs> as well. There's another one, you know? Stay still. Let me help you. Okay. See, we're just joining up areas that we've already explored with areas that we haven't here, guys. This is the... The dead zone that we originally did. Pierre's shack is over there with the gas canister. Uh, but we're just going to head around this corner here and connect up to this platform. Ooh, I can see our friends um, in the distance. <laughs> Jogging towards us? That is how you take care of business, guys. And now... Okay, I'm gonna get around on this other side. Okay. Whee! There's sort of like an ideal distance that you want to maintain away from him. Uh, if he's on you spitting. You want to run in and see if you can get Get him to turn around and then I'll come in. We keep, keep moving around in the circle. You can see there, they're not so bad if you're strategizing with your friend. Another skill point. It's time to get the third level of lock there. Okay. So let's, yeah, let's head over. Yeah, in this direction we'll go up and explore where there's like a camper van it looks like, yeah. And let me just actually also, because I've leveled up, I'm going to go and equip that machete that we built back at the base. Because it's going to do some nice damage now. Perfect for Taking off body parts and... Yep.
Oh. What? What? Oh no. Get back, get back. You can hear him oh. whispering, help me. That's a yeah. suicider up in the window there. There we go. You know? So those guys definitely will explode. See, there's like this weapon, red, 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 white uh, name weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find some better loot. So I'm just not gonna fill up right now. See, like, that's green, but eh. I might be full on inventory at the moment. I have to empty out some stuff. But yeah, it doesn't loot the whole island. I think there's actually. Um. Like a mod, like plan thing here somewhere. I think it's in the car or the truck base to pull the camper. Mode. What do we have here? This is like the reason that we know this stuff, guys, is because we like here. this is stuff that we played through. It's the nuts and bolts mod. It's in the back of that okay. vehicle. There we go. Nuts and Bolts is a nice mod. It basically, like, certain weapons, you had... I think it's, like... There's the Nuts and Bolts and there's the Weighted. And, like, there's... I think Nuts and Bolts is just, like, a lesser version of the Weighted. But it's basically gonna make your weapon, like, a little bit heavier, a little bit spikier, and stronger. So... It's good for, like, clubs and stuff. Okay, so we basically, we've explored this little camp zone, uh, like, the little side path that we went down on that little detour is actually right over there where I'm aiming. Uh, we went around and came back up this way, so we're going to head on, actually, in this direction. Always a good idea if your friend is killing a zombie to keep an eye out on their back to make sure that they don't have somebody running up on them as well. Just as a strategy, because if you're both looking down, like, and that's a mistake that I will often make because I won't be paying attention. The only reason I say that is because sometimes it is just a good idea to just watch your friend take care of the zombie and just sit back and make sure that they're protected, you know? And, uh, yeah, I'll go back there. Oops. Oh! <laughs> Oh gosh, I sometimes I forget to double tap. Misty's way better than I am. I hear one somewhere. I'm sure the hatchet. Ha! <clears throat> Here we go. Hey, buddy. Do you think you're gonna get us, buddy? No way. Okay. Let me go up on the lock. I remember there being like a big yellow oh, yeah, guy. He's still here. The big fat one. Oh, and I might be trapped. Great. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh. Hmm. That was fun. You've got <clears throat> a lock you can pick over there. Okay. It got me a wrench, which is not so bad, but it's not a... Like, basically for both Misty and my, char my characters, like, um, blunt weapons aren't going to be, like, the most ideal thing for us because we don't get any bonuses towards it. Misty always seems to be able to find, like, that random weapon that's stuck in the side of a log somewhere, or stuck in the side of a tree. She has a good eye for that. Let's see. I think I have, like, this is the one I got stuck in almost last time. There's nothing inside that camper, guys. Don't bother doing anything with it. You know? Yeah. You know? Okay. Let's make sure that we're not going to get something sneaking around us from this raw. And we've got this encampment right here. Right now, so yeah. Watch it. back to my weapon. That's what I don't like. Wait, even though that wrench is... Oh, really? What? Did I break it? Hold on a second, let's see. Let me just, uh... If you want to go and rescue, there's a guy, uh, you can hear him, you can just see all that Missy that he's on the roof. If you want to go and rescue him, I'm just going back to look and see um, if I like drop my epic machete in the first place. That's the case. Oh well. I guess it's not fair. Sure. Um, I wish I could fight like that. Come on upstairs. Alright, so what can I use instead? Uh, What happened to it? I don't know. It disappeared out of my inventory and out of my hand. Like when I went and picked up that. Let's uh, take a look. Uh, wrench out of the level three box. You know, I like switched it for whatever that was, and then you know what I mean. Like I don't know exactly how that ended up with me losing the weapon, but out of my inventory anymore. Kind of sucks. Except Wait, like let me check my inventory. Make sure you didn't drop it. Okay. And then, you know what I mean? You know? Let's see. I'm going to, like, sort of actually drop all some, like, mm -hmm. weak weapons here. You're talking about the lethal homemade machete, right? Yes. Okay, no. I don't. I only have the one. You know? Dang it. Oh, that's all good. Well, it kind of sucks that you paid like, that much for it, and it's gone. Yeah. But, like, what can I do now, right? You know? Call the game and complain. <laughs> Wait, like, a few been. days, and maybe get it this back, and you. then what? It's you not know? much, but it's all yeah, I have yeah. at the moment. At least I still have my barbecue blade. Yeah. You know? For sure. If I was missing that, then I'd be a little bit more like, what the heck. 
least you can always make a new one. Inside his camper here, there's a set of plans, uh, weighted mod. So that's on, that's like really good for blunt weapons, but you can put it on bladed weapons as well. And then we've got the island guide as well. You got the plans? I think I picked them up because I don't see them. Okay, they were leaning against the books there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's all good up there on the roof. He's all good. Sweet. I'm just going to go and see if I can, like, if there's health or anything. I can do While you do that for two seconds, I'm going to take a quick break and be right back. Okay. All right, guys, so we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to continue on for... Let's see, I'm going to go and just do the knock thing again here. Okay, so we've sort of explored the camping area and linked it up with, like, some of the other areas we've explored from before. So now we're going to sort of head along this side path, explore this area up here, and then see... I'm going to see if we end up getting back to that wire, or, or for the wires, or if we're going to save that for the next episode. But we're going to head up along this side path here. <coughs> Come on, you can do it. Really? It's a one-way path? Oh, come on. Ninja Misty is much more ninja -y than I am. <laughs> what? And what's this? How Had a crash helicopter. So let's investigate. Ooh, doesn't that just look Yum. delightful? It's our rescue. Look. They were gonna come and help us. They were gonna come and help us with helicopter mounted machine guns. Maybe there's something inside. See now, why can't I just like use my barbecue blade to like rip this off of the the one bolt that's still holding it on here, and just take this little puppy around, and kill some zombies with it, you know? So everybody's dead here. Nice. There's no zombies. It was our rescue team. I wonder, like, am I, like, really that full on inventory? I thought we, like, emptied out. Let me, like, get rid of, like, all of this white. You need, like, a big backpack where you can carry. That would be nice if you could get like an upgrade. Maybe there is a. Oh, look! Oh, okay. It's nothing important. I was just like, maybe this is what the mission objective would be just to search under this palm leaf. But it was just an oleander, which is low level, or a crafting material. Okay, so we're just, we're continuing on from the helicopter crash site, guys. Uh, there's, they, I really think they should have put in some, some kind of a weapon or something for you to pick up there, but that's just me, I guess. You know, so, where is he going to come from? There we go. Yeah, no. I don't know who these people think they are. Or who these zombies think they are. That's right. When they're sitting around thinking zombie thoughts. You know? Are they good zombie thoughts or bad zombie thoughts? Well, I haven't taken a survey, so... 
you know. What can I do to help? You see that supply crate over there? The military drop a couple more of them in the jungle. I found a method to track them. If you go look for them and bring me the food, you can take everything else. What do you say? Let's do it. I'll do Start my best. Now. Each crate yeah. has a transmitter. It will activate and <clears throat> to the device. When you get close, it will emit a beeping signal. Just follow it. Improving. Nice. So that leveled me up even and saved. So. You guys can see the three zones now on the map where we can pick up uh, items. Uh, for that objective, like that's where they we're going to have to look for the, the crates. Uh, if we were to do this, Misty, and we were to get what we did last time, we did like a couple of them and then we stopped. And then when we came back, we had to do them all over again. Sure. It just it just saved. So like, do we want to say like, <sighs> we we'll one of our group last clear night. this area yeah. out here? He was sleeping right by the fire when he was attacked. You know what I she mean? Like an old woman I don't know if that'll moves, necessarily save so for fast. us. Oh, there's recording on the server. Her, her left recording. arm was gone. You could see the bone, white in the firelight. And she made the most terrible, growling, gurgling sound. Well, even if we started at, and had to pick up that recording, the next time we could next time we come back. Okay, so how about we call this the end of this episode here? We've explored like a little bit more on the map. Sure. Cleared it out. We've seen like what's up here, so that it's not. It's such a mystery, like, what's out there aside from where you have to directly go for your missions. And then next episode, guys, what we'll do is Seven it'll start us old. back in the village again. Most of our clothes so we'll just start off. from there and we'll go and we'll grab each of these supply crates and then end up at the water. Disease. That'll be our... That or end up returning it, maybe. But something along those lines. We're going to save this mission for the next time, just because we know it's going to be a lot more exploring kind of the same idea as we did here so we just don't want to do like a two hour episode uh just to cover that so basically uh hopefully seeing some of the stuff that's out here uh will help you guys to decide like if you want to come out and maybe rescue some of those citizens to get the dump bonuses for that or to work towards getting your trophies um and we'll see you guys like next time to do the the episode for this mission and continuing on. For sure. So, you know, thank you for joining us. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, you know, anything you want to add? I think that covers it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> All right, guys. We will catch you next time for more epic Dead Island. Bye bye.